observe people who are good at their work. Skilled workers are always in demand and admired. They don't take a back seat to anyone. Welcome. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Excellent Musician Podcast with Jerry Abba. I'm so glad you're able to make it today. And in this episode, we'll continue our discussion on how to cultivate an excellent mindset. First and foremost, I would like to announce the winners from our last month's giveaway competition and it's amazing we got about four or five submissions out of which the presence of daniel timothy and ruth paul came first position daniel timothy's own came in first so he gets the actual first position and then ruth paul gets the second position um over the next couple of weeks you will hear from us we'll make sure we get your prizes across to you respectively good job guys uh the question had to do with marvin sap and the very first song that he recorded and in what year if it was a single or if he sang the song as part of a group both of you gave an excellent answer with sufficient explanation um for those who are still interested in seeing what their answers look like make sure you watch the previous episode or listen to the previous episode if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast to get the full gist of what happened the other contestants did their best even though we were looking for the most accurate answers so uh, make sure you do proper research next time the question was simple enough and the information was literally available online just type the name Marvin Sapp on Google and the answers will come forth. All right, um, enough said about that. Last week, I released a video titled How to Cultivate a Growth Mindset. That is a very powerful topic that I will like for you to, after you've done watching this particular video, go back and watch that video because it has so much content in it. It's just a 14, about 12 to 14 minutes video. So powerful. And I believe that it goes hand in hand with an excellent mindset. A growth mindset is an excellent mindset. And there are one or two lessons there that you can learn as you continue your journey to become an excellent musician. As we dive in today, I'll be sharing with us from one verse of the scripture in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. And that scripture says, observe people who are good at their work. Skilled workers are always in demand and admired. They don't take a back seat to anyone. <laughs> Cultivating an excellent mindset. People who work in excellence, people who cultivate the, the act of excellence, people who practice excellence in everything they do, this is something that they have in common. They are exceptionally good at everything that they do. They don't stand before mean men, they stand before kings. That's the same translation in King James. The version we just read is the message translation. Let me read it once again for you. The message translation says, observe people who are good at their work. Skilled workers are always in demand and admired. They don't take a back seat to anyone. May that be your story in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you look closely at our case study musicians and gospel artists, you will literally see this particular scripture being manifested in their lives. For some of them, their careers have spanned over 40 years, some about 30, 20, and so on. But the most important thing is the graduating frequency of how they move from excellence to excellence they move from one level of glory to another level of glory it keeps getting better it's never going down you won't compare the album that they released recently or the songs that they released recently to the songs that were released four years ago five years ago or ten years ago even 20 years ago so you and i should be working on a daily basis with the excellent mindset it should be a progressive mindset in alignment with the scripture that says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter okay there should be a constant forward movement a constant progression to get better at what you do our case study musicians have built up their career to the point where some of them have appeared in white house and you know great and mighty music festivals concerts and stages now i'm not saying that should become our driving force our driving point but in relation to this scripture it says they shall stand before kings and not mere men 
Greatness becomes a core part of you when you practice the life of excellence. You become celebrated within the kingdom and outside of the kingdom because you are like a shining light. You become the salt of the earth. You become a shining light. You become an epistle read by all men. Your music goes all over the world and blesses lives. If you are called to a church, your music is made sure to bless lives within the scope of your calling, within the congregation that the Lord has placed you as a music minister to minister life unto them through your music. This is not about competition or putting up a competitive spirit or trying to beat the next person or trying to be the best at your local church or your domain. If you go that route, you end up becoming just a local champion. But remember, in the last episode, we said our God is a God of excellence and he deserves nothing but the best from us. That is the mindset from which we should be operating, that we ought to give our God nothing but the best excellence in every way in every area of our lives nothing short of excellence is required of us now this brings us to the question where are you in your journey to excellence at this point are you still at the back seat are you somewhere in the middle seat are you one of those whom when the good and the better hands arrive they ask you to pass over the microphone onto them they ask you to move to the back seat because someone better has arrived now i know how frustrating that can be i've been in your shoes but i never gave up so if you do not give up if you keep working on yourself constantly with that growth mindset okay with the excellent spirit and excellent mindset trusting god to become the best that you can be for the sake of the kingdom so that you can worship god in spirit and in truth using your skill using your talent to glorify god trust me it's a matter of time the scripture says i will overturn and overturn and overturn until he comes whose right it is and i will give it him okay it may not be your turn right now but when it is your turn to be in the forefront when you have become good enough when you have practiced and cultivated and harnessed you know the excellent level of skill and performance in addition to the spirit factor <laughs> you see that okay no one can deny you your place it's as simple as that no one can deny you the front seat you don't take a back seat to anyone because your gift will make a room for you how good you are will always speak it will always manifest so instead of going around grumbling with a long face with a sad face and feeling as if they don't appreciate somebody in this place could it be that you actually are not yet good enough in your own eyes, you might be good, but how about being better, okay? And if you think you are better, how about being the best? Because there is always a next level. There is always a better level. There is always a next height that you can climb onto. There is always a greater level that you can build up yourself to. There is no end to learning. There is no end to skill development. If you've mastered one level, the onus is on you. To walk up and you know strive to climb to the next level in life so let this mind be in you constantly that you must become a very good and exceptional worker you must become exceptional in your offering of worship to the Lord you must become so skilled in what you do so that you will be in high demand according to that scripture <laughs> so that you can be in high demand and admired all right and then the front seat will become yours. Before we go, I would like to play a very short clip of Craig Franklin in one of his rehearsal sessions. Now, whenever you see him on stage, you see how crazy he gets with his stage management abilities, the way he dances, the way he coordinates his team. It's wonderful. It's, it's such a beauty to behold. Now, you'll discover from this short clip that it is true when they say you can't give what you don't have. You can't manifest what you have not mastered. If you look carefully at that clip, 
you will see Kirk Franklin dancing in his crazy style, in his crazy mood, right there in the rehearsals. He was doing it as if this is the main stage, as if this is the real thing. Until you've gotten to that place where you begin to practice with excellence and deliver excellently at the rehearsal level, you don't go upstage and try to do and try to perform the things that you have not mastered in your secret place, the things that you have not mastered in your rehearsal room. That is simply a recipe for disaster. And I don't want that to be your portion. So you must learn to sit up. Sometimes there are days when you need to put in extra hours, extra time. If you are scoring a song, if you need to listen to it a hundred times, then do so. It is an aberration for you to perform a song poorer than the original version. If you can't do it exactly as is, if you can't do better than it was done in the original, at least strive for excellence, strive to do it close to perfection as it is in the original. It's time to begin to ask yourself, begin to ask your team, what are we not doing right? Where are we missing it? In what areas can we improve? In what areas can we develop ourselves? What am I lacking? Is it that I'm not putting in sufficient rehearsals? Is it that I'm not listening attentively enough? Is it that I'm just listening to entertain myself when I was supposed to be doing a critical and analytical listening to help me learn better, to help me analyze the song, understand the chords, understand the vocals, understand the dynamics, understand the embellishments that were used by the musicians that performed the original version? These are very important questions that you need to ask yourself and help yourself, you know, by analyzing them and then taking up the areas that you need to work on yourself as an individual or collectively as a team to become better than where you are right now. The Lord bless you mightily. Leave a comment below and let me know in what area that you feel God is laying in your heart to begin to, you know, work on yourself to build an excellent mindset, to become better than what you are currently. I look forward to hearing from you. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so, and share this video with someone. Be a blessing to others too. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. I celebrate you. Bye-bye now.